All right, what we have here are glute ham altitude drops. I have this towel here just for extra padding onto my quad as this part of the pad of the machine is worn down. Um, so I just use it for extra padding. What we're gonna do, end position is based off the extreme slope. So you should be familiar, familiarized with that end point. Um, that is the foundation to this movement that we're about to do. So if you recall from the glute ham repetitions, we come from this neutral position all the way up to this L position. This is gonna be your starting point. From there, you're trying to drive your feet into the plate to propel you this way, and you're gonna stick the landing in that extreme slow angle. So if you're going from massive knee flexion into a rapid knee extension, and you're gonna stick it right before the knees lock out to show control. It's a very, very violent move, a um, lot of force that you have to be able to create and then absorb. So this is what it's gonna look like. Get into position, toes into the plate. I'm gonna start at the very top. And then from here, I'm gonna press into the plate to explode outwards. Stick it. Return back up. Stick. Notice that the machine lifted a little bit. Depending on what kind of setup you have, you should be exploding out so aggressively that it's dragging the glute ham with you. <laughs> this one is a little bit different. It's not like a rogue base that's very heavy duty. And so it's kind of picking up the backside. But that's how you know you're going a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more, uh, more intention behind it. You should be getting some lift. Um, and again, you're pressing in and extending out as far as you can. It's just quicker than what gravity would do to take you down. You're trying to create as much force as you can um, and then absorb it. This is glute ham, altitude drops.